Shin Lim, the champion of champions, is truly a great magician. Known for his amazing card manipulation tricks, he has set the world on fire with tricks which are almost impossible to figure out. But not anymore. So, be it his amazing card from mouth trick, or bringing a deck of cards from nowhere. Hello and welcome back, and today we're going to unlock the secrets behind Shin Lim's top 5 card magic tricks of all time. So, let's get started. At number 5, turning a deck to a card. On the famous Penn & Teller show, Shin Lim took a deck of cards from a pack and then showed to everyone that it's a real deck of cards. Now making some magical gestures and in a very quick moment, he turns the entire deck to a single signed card, and that signed card in his left hand turns to a deck. Well, the secret to this magic is really simple. Shin Lim first took a real deck of cards, which had a gimmick card placed inside it, and that gimmick card can be fold opened to make it look like a deck of cards. And if you look closely in the video, at this exact moment, he brings that gimmick card from the deck onto his left hand, and places that signed card at the bottom of the deck using his amazing skills. Now if we slow down the video, we can figure out this trick. In his left hand, he has the gimmick card that he opened to look like a deck of cards. And in his right hand, holding on to the signed card at the bottom of the deck, he flicks the real deck of cards inside his jacket, thus turning the deck into a single signed card. Now finally, he covered both the signed card and the deck with both his hands and converts the gimmick deck back to seem like a single card and places both the cards back on the table. Now, before moving to the next one, if you haven't subscribed to our channel yet, make sure to subscribe and hit the bell icon so that you can get instant notifications of our new video uploads. At number 4, Card from Mouth Trick In this trick, Shin Lim first flipped the jack card signed by Heidi upside down. Then, making sure there's nothing in his sleeves, he kept the deck of cards in his mouth. Now, with some magical gestures, when he flipped the card again on the table, the jack card signed by Heidi turned into a blank card. But wait a second, what do we see? The jack card signed by Heidi now comes out of the mouth of Shin Lim. Really, can that even happen? Yes, of course, even that's possible with sleight of hand. If you look in the video, there absolutely seems to be no reason to us why did Shin Lim keep that deck in his mouth. But this is where the real secret lies. If you look closely in slow motion, you can see at this very moment, Shin Lim grabbed the jack card signed by Heidi to the bottom of the deck and slipped the top card in that deck onto the table, which was indeed a blank card. Now the jack card was at the bottom of the deck, and during this very moment, Shin Lim folded that card to a quarter and held that folded card tightly at the bottom of the deck. He also acted and made sure to show everyone that nothing was in his sleeves, and then kept that deck in his mouth. Now you must have got it. Keeping the folded signed card in his mouth, he brings back and places the deck of cards onto the table, and goes on to reveal the card on the table to be a blank card. And finally, he moves on to reveal the curious case of Heidi's signed card, which he brings out of his mouth in a magical way. At number 3, turning Queen of Spades to blank. In this amazing card trick, Shin Lim kept the Queen of Spades signed by Tyra in between her palms and waved the other blank card in the air. And in just a moment, he magically converted the blank card to Tyra's signed card. Then, to everyone's surprise, the signed card in between her palms turned into a blank card. So how did he do it? Well, here's the secret. For this trick, Shin Lim used two cards, one Queen of Spades signed by Tyra, and another one that was blank. Now, if you look in the video, this is all sleight of hand. If you look closely in slow motion, you can see the trick revealed. Shin Yim took the card signed by Tyra, and pushed it into the deck at the second position. And with a quick sleight of hand, he took the top card from the deck which was actually a blank card and then kept it in between her palms. Now you must have got it. The top of the deck now had Tyra's signed card, and he took another blank card from the table 
and in between this camera angle change, he placed it on the deck and in a quick moment, grabbed two cards at once. Now at the front was a blank card, and at the back was Tyra's signed card. Shin Lim waved the card in the air for a couple of times, and then, in a quick moment, flipped over the card to the side where he had Tyra's signed card. Now he again kept that signed card on the deck, and this time around he left the blank card, and only took the first card, which was her signed card, and showed it to the audience. Also, when he revealed the card in between Tyra's palms, it was now the blank card, because as we already know, that was the card he had kept there, with his sleight of hand. At number 2, Deck of Cards from Nowhere In this magic trick, as you can see, Shin Lim initially had only two single cards, but sliding those cards against the table made many more cards appear on the table. So, how's that possible? Because the two cards that he initially showed to us were really just two cards and involved no gimmicks. Well, the entire secret lies in the absolute black table. To understand this trick, we need to understand the concept of absolute black. Absolute black absorbs all the light and does not allow any reflection. And when we place anything over it with the same absolute black color, it becomes impossible to figure that out because it seems exactly like a flat, even surface, just like this example. So, with the similar concept of absolute black color, the table of Shin Lim for this trick is made that makes it to look like a flat surface. But actually, the cards that appear on the table just like magic are already placed on the table and covered with an absolute black cover that Shin Lim just pulls away slowly while holding the two cards in his hand. Also, the cards that appear next to the series of cards are already placed and covered with absolute black cover. It's simply uncovered by Shin Lim to make them appear on the table. So finally, Shin Lim's number one card trick in our list. Unbelievable card magic. In his final act on America's Got Talent, Shin Lim performs this unbelievable card trick. In this trick, he calls upon three spectators, Matt, Akbar, and the beautiful Tyra along with him on the table. To start off, Shin Lim gives the deck of cards to Akbar and asks him to shuffle it well and verify if the cards are all different. He then tells Akbar to make him stop and choose any card at random. After Akbar makes his choice, stop right there. Yep. Shin Lim gives the cards back to him to shuffle and mix up again. Shin Lim then takes back the deck of cards and splits the deck into four equal piles. Akbar is then asked to distribute the four piles amongst the four of them. And after everyone gets their individual piles, Shin Lim asks them to hold it in gambler's grip. Shuffle the cards, place some cards onto the center of the table, and keep some cards with them. And he tells them to repeat this process until all cards are placed onto the table. He again asks them to grab their pile of cards, and reminding them of the cheater's rule, he tells them to throw away the top card onto the table, and to keep throwing away the top card until he makes them stop. Now Shin Lim asks them to count the number of cards each one of them are left with. Here, after throwing away almost 60% of the cards to the center of the table, the trick becomes a little harder as the card which Akbar chose could be in anyone's pile of cards that they are left with, and more chances are that the card should be in the middle of the table. Now with almost 10% chances after all this shuffling and stuff, and to everyone's surprise, Shin Lim points to Akbar's top card in his pile and tells him that it is his chosen card, i.e. the Jack of Clubs. And after turning that card, it was indeed the card that he chose. The trick didn't end there. The piles with Tyra, Matt, and Shin Lim, each on its top, had the card of Jack. Now that really made this trick to be a great finale act. And yes, we will be revealing the secret behind this amazing trick. Firstly, the deck of cards that Shin Lim used was not a gimmick. It was just a pure deck of cards which he gave it to Akbar to shuffle. After Akbar had shuffled the cards, he took the deck back and flickered the deck for Akbar to choose any card at random. Akbar then asked Shin Lim to stop. Now during this very moment, as you can see, Shin Lim had just twisted the deck where Akbar asked him to stop. 
This was done by him to make sure he could hold the part where the twist happens, and it becomes easier for him to peek into the card that Akbar chose. Now, once again, Akbar shuffled the cards and gave it to Shin Lim. Shin Lim now already knew the card that Akbar chose, and that it was the Jack of Clubs. So, knowing this, he divided the deck into four piles, and kept the top card on each pile as the Jack. And also, he made sure he remembers which pile had the Jack of Clubs. Now he asked Akbar to distribute the four piles between the four of them. As it turns out, the pile that Akbar himself took had the Jack of Clubs at the top, which Shin Lim already knew. Now firstly, Shin Lim asked all of them to grip the pile in their hands and keep the top card from their pile on the table. Guys, remember, this top card that they kept down are all jacks. Moving on, Shin Lim asked them to shuffle the rest of the cards, and then keep some down over the first card, and then again shuffle, and keep repeating this process, until all cards were onto the table. This was all done only to bring the jacks to the bottom, and make everyone sure that all the cards were evenly shuffled. Now, Shin Lim asked them to throw some cards to the center of the table one by one, and keep some cards with them. On the center of the table by now, almost 60% of cards were thrown, which made everyone believe that the card chosen by Akbar could be somewhere in the center of the table. But as you know, all the jacks are in their piles at the bottom. Now Shin Lim asked them to count the remaining cards from top to bottom, and in this process, the order of the cards got reversed. The bottom card was now on the top of the pile. And now you must have got it, the top card in each of their pile had the jack. Finally, Shin Lim, with his great confidence, tells Akbar to speak out his card, Jack of Clubs. Jack of Clubs. then tells him to flip over the top card in his pile, which was indeed the Jack of Clubs that he chose. And to end the trick, Shin Lim asked everyone to turn the top cards in their pile, which you all know by now, is a Jack. So guys, hope you got the secrets behind some of Shin Lim's greatest card magic tricks. Which card trick did you like the most? and name any Shin Lim trick you would want us to reveal. Do like and share this video with your friends on social media. For more such amazing things, don't forget to subscribe to our channel. And finally, thanks for watching.